Hello everyone, my name is Hero and welcome back to my AC Builds Garage. I hope to bring you many good, strong and very wacky AC builds that you at home could give a try on. My products will always grant you an understanding as to what my builds do and how well they fare in certain content. And like always, I always recommend you give them a try at least once and then use them as a base template for new and exciting builds to build upon. Today's build is designed for those that want to be both tanky and fast while on the battlefield. This is something I didn't expect to work so well, but honestly it's quite a sleepy hit that I'm hoping you guys will give a try on. Meet my latest build, Pump and Dump. My Pump and Dump build is for ground to ground combat and making full use of his speed plus armour to go in fast and hard. Utilising lightweight tank treads, the following mobility sacrifices the slow nature of using the heavy tank treads for a more mobile and slightly lighter frame. Instead of relying on heavy energy or heavy rocket based setups that are known for tank builds, I decided to run a dual energy shotgun and spread rocket build that pairs well with getting fast and instant stagger. You see, what I had in mind was to use my primary shotgun to land the first hit which will build up fast stagger damage in one full hit. Afterwards, I would then use my heavy spread bazooka up close like a shotgun, which will fill in the rest of the stagger and stun the target there and then. Adding the speed to the build allows us to hit and run and make it harder for many PvP players to react fast enough to gain control of the area and can thus lead to defeat if done correctly. It's honestly a rather simple setup that works well in 1v1 or for you 3s as you have everything available to hit hard. It even has room for the user to swap out their primaries for other shotguns as well with more range added on, so you can adapt to the ACs that may stay in the air for X amount of time, etc. But overall, it's just a fun build to play around with as you'll pretty much be doing hit and runs while just around targets at full speed. To achieve what I have, I've gone with the lightweight tank treads as I wanted to see what they were capable of and how versatile a tank AC could be used in both PvE and PvP content. Starting with weaponry, I have the dual Ruger 68E laser shotgun which has good range, damage and impact for the build. As it's a hit and run build, I want to use a shotgun that I can fire quite consistently but also pairs well when combined with my back units. They also need to be light so the build doesn't get too slowed down by the gear used. Now I could have gone with the dual Zimmermans as they tend to be the most common combos that everyone seems to be running. But the following laser shotgun actually fits the build surprisingly well. Firstly, we do not need to worry about manually reloading the weapon, but instead just need to focus on managing energy level of the weapon instead, so it doesn't overdo it. Secondly, it takes about 2 dual laser hits to get a player's AC into critical stagger range, which once our back unit is used, will tip this to a full stun and then can allow us to unload a laser shotgun even more. This then leads us to our back unit, which is the dual SB Morley Spread Bazooka. This is another sleeper back unit that doesn't get a lot of praise for how simple yet destructive it can be. You'll want to use the following as a shotgun at mid to close range rather than from distance as that's how you can maximise its damage in one. As you'll soon see, with my dual laser shotgun and our bazookas, with the two combined it allows a quite scary stagger combo that can punish a number of ACs that don't make use of the air or know how to dodge effectively. However, as the build does have a bit of range to it, even that won't save most airborne ACs or enemies that just need to apply a half stagger with evil weapons involved. Armour I went for is to focus on getting enough armour points to tank shots, but also being light and fast as we are maining a light frame AC. Head we have the EL-PH-00 Alba. Body we have the CC-3000 Becker. Arm we have the Natch 46E. Legs we have the EL-TL-11. FCS we have the FC-008 Talbot. Generator is the VP-20D which is the best I can fit to my AC and has decent energy capacity. And expansion is Assault Armor. It's recommended you go for a mix of El Cano and R&D parts as they provide the core stability that the build is aiming for. As shown, my AC specs provide a nice balance for a medium frame that is not too slow nor too overwhelmed by firepower, just to make up the lack of in-air combat. So the pros and cons of the build are as followed. Firstly, you have a lot of speed on hand that allows us to outmaneuver attacks quite easily 
and also allow us to make use of our weapon to come in fast and hard. This here is great if you're someone who wants to do big amount of damage in a short time frame without the need of sacrificing your speed and arm in the process. Secondly, its stagger rate is actually quite high when being applied to targets, as this does not require meta weapons to achieve this. The setup can be done with any shotgun you have in mind, but the back units do need to stay the same. The pro to this is that you have more accessibility available to pick, choose, and customize certain combos to get the best effect available. Help, you don't even need to have dual shotguns to achieve this, as just one and a back unit is enough to make a big difference. Sadly, con-wise, you have limited ability with taking down infinite hover ACs, who like to stay in the air for X amount of time and just keep raining heavy attacks down on you. Now, your speed will help with dodging them, but ultimately, trying to get these in air users tend to be the hardest job around as they tend to fly off out of reach and keep attacking and so forth. You do also have the disadvantage when it comes down to heavy firepower, as although we can hit hard and stagger quite easily, it only takes one heavy AC with Karasawa and Core Weapon combo to really mess you up. Simply, anything that can produce AoE effects while on the ground can be a big issue if you don't see this well ahead of time, as although we've got speed on our side, it won't always be the case. So, that's the build in a nutshell. I'm going to show you some arena battles I had with the following build, just so you know how well it was against certain ACs, and how from learning from the gameplay, you too can adapt and create your own version. Enjoy the rest of the video, and if you like what you see, please do leave a like and a sub, and I'll see you guys in the next one.